מצטרפת אלינו מומחית למחלות זיהומיות מהמדינה, דוקטור יקים פיטון. Hello and good morning, דוקטור פיטון. Good morning. Hi. Hi. How are you? So, first of all, let's talk uh, about the latest news. So, a lab study in South Africa shows that uh, the uh, Pfizer's vaccine pr uh, provides some protection, but not enough. What do you think? Yeah, so the preliminary results, and this is obviously in a lab, shows that maybe the Pfizer vaccine won't provide sufficient protection. Uh, protection but obviously in the coming weeks and months we're going to see whether this is true or not at the moment in South Africa the vast majority of patients with the omicron seems to be very mild mm -hmm. and may, perhaps that means that the Pfizer vaccine is is part of the reason why we see in mild cases and that there is some protection but it's too soon to say in patients what the effect of the vaccine will be mm. so what about the uh, hospitals admissions in uh, South Africa? So our numbers are going up very fast and very high, uh, but conversely, the hospital admissions remain very low. Mm -hmm. The vast majority of people that are admitted in our hospitals have got incidental COVID uh, finding. In other words, they're not admitted because of COVID. They've been admitted for something else, but their COVID test happens to be positive. Those who are admitted, we have very few ICU admissions still. Most people need to be in the ward. Mm -hmm. And again, it's very early. Mm -hmm. We've only known about Omicron for two or three weeks. So in the coming weeks, we're going to see whether this continues to be the case that we only have mild to moderate mm -hmm. infections or whether we're going to have more ICU yeah. admissions. Dr. Peter, is the Omicron variant the dominant one in your country at the moment? It is. We still have lots of Delta, but it does seem like Omicron has surpassed Delta. So we're very happy with that. But maybe uh, uh, the panic uh, wasn't justified? The South Africans certainly feel that the panic was not justified. Uh, we know now that there was Omicron in Peru in October 2020. Uh, 2021. We also know that when the UK closed their borders to South Africa, which was the first country that closed their borders, there was already community transmission in the UK. And it also will appear that the Omicron did not originate in South Africa. We probably not the first country mm -hmm. to have Omicron. And so it was probably premature to close the borders. Okay, Dr. Kim Piton, thank you so much for this interview. Thank you. Thank you.